launch. Did you feel some sonic booms this morning? Well, this would be why SpaceX's most powerful rocket blasting off from a very foggy launch pad at Kennedy Space Center this morning. Kind of a fascinating launch to see there. The launch marks the first time the Falcon Heavy has flown in more than three years in Florida. This time the rocket is on a top secret mission for the U.S. military. News 6's James Sparvero is at KSC speaking with a space expert about what comes next. Blanketed by fog all morning at Kennedy Space Center, we couldn't see Falcon Heavy, but we certainly could hear it and feel the rumble from the most powerful rocket still in operation. SpaceX reporting a successful launch and landings for this top secret mission. With two sonic booms, the two extra boosters of the Falcon Heavy simultaneously land at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. The first landings like these in three years since the last time SpaceX launched its heavy lift rocket. Three, two, one, zero, liftoff. Only the closest SpaceX cameras could see the liftoff. With five million pounds of thrust, that's what it sounded like. This really is a powerhouse rocket. Proving itself to the military, CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood discusses Falcon Heavy's future flying its first NASA missions. Looking ahead to the Artemis Moon program, the Heavy will be used on several flights in that campaign to launch components to the moon. So it's played a key role. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six. In more space news, NASA is set to roll out its SLS Mega Moon rocket to the launch pad. In just a matter of days, this is a video from the last rollout in August. According to a blog post by NASA, they're hoping to start rolling out the rocket at 12.01 on Friday morning. And it is Twitter official. <laughs> NASA's ground exploration system is posting these pictures of the crawler transportation vehicle arriving at the VAB just hours ago, prepping to pick up the humongous rocket. All of this is in preparation of a launch attempt on November 14th. The rocket was rolled back into the VAB in September in anticipation of that Hurricane Ian. We have more information on clickorlando.com space.